um, to parents who couldn't make it this evening. Os da chi siwgo mi cwestiwn i unrhyw un ohono ni, mae yna modd i wneud hyn drwy ddefnyddio'r dull chat. So if you wish to ask a question, um, as we go through the presentation, uh, you can do so by typing those into the chat function, which is the speech bubble, um, which is on the taskbar. Um, we have uh, members of our senior leadership team um, who are on hand and, um, if possible, they will attempt to ask any questions that you send through during the course of the presentation. Um, Ond hefyd, mi fydd yn y cyfle i chi ofyn cwestiynau hefyd um, ar ddiwedd y cyflwyniad um, os, os da chi angen. So we will also take questions at the end of the presentation if you want to ask them um, face to face, so to speak. Um, so the three uh, presenters uh, this evening, um, I'll be going first with just a general overview of our A-level uh, provision and what Year 12 has in store. Um, will be followed by Mrs. Fiona Mosford Evans, who is the coordinator of the Level 3 Advanced Welsh Baccalaureate Diploma. So uh, she will um, follow me, uh, outlining the contents of that course. And then we'll conclude with Mrs. Manon Wilkinson, who, as you all know, is head of our Sixth Form Centre. OK, can we go to the uh, slide in a sec? Can we have the next slide, please? OK, um, os ydyn ni'n edrych ar darpariaeth um, yn y chweched. Um, um, if we look at provision in the sixth form, um, what they receive in year 12 is four hours a week of uh, directed lesson time, um, together with an hour of independent study. Um, and through the course of the, week, of the week, they will have two and a half hours worth of uh, tutorial time. Um, so, I just felt that it was uh, important uh, that you knew that, um, in order that one of the, um, the, the key priorities for us is making best use of their time. Um, Mar tutoriad i gyd yn arbenigo yn uh, darpariaeth y chweched, so our tutors are all specialists and highly experienced sixth form tutors, and <coughs> they will be working with them. Um, through the course of their tutorials, having uh, as well as independent or individual tutorials. Um, so overall, we anticipate that each student would have four or five hours of free time every week on their timetable, corresponding to roughly an hour a day. Um, we think that's good, that they do have that free time, they do have that social time, um, providing that um, they're also putting in the uh, time into independent study. Um, right, okay, can I go a slide, Nessa, please? Okay, an er, um, rhaglenni a biech, so in the PSE, uh, program. Um, we follow the same structure as in our curriculum insofar as that there are um, half-termly plans in place. Um, but the a math or cynwys sydd yn cael ei ddarparu yn ystod y tutoriad ydy um, the square and the bundle. So the kind of thing we do is how to be independent, how do we promote independent learning, how we study skills um, and of course as we go through the year um, how we uh, make applications to university and it's important that in year 12 that our students begin to think about their future plans. Um, of course Hevid, Daniel Dilling, Thema Vigelio, we're also following um, um, current classical themes. Um, when we look forward to the uh, teaching and learning um, and how we structure our curriculum, you'll be very familiar with these slides um, having come through Key Stage 3 and 4. Our pattern of learning programmes continues into the uh, sixth form. And um, um, once again, 
they show on a weekly basis the skills, knowledge, understanding that they will be developing, the homework that will be set in the yellow boxes um, every week, and the assessments that take place every half term. So the, um, the same basis for planning and assessing, um, setting homework and monitoring students remains unchanged. And so our students are very familiar with this. Um, and some in the line, um, Marine uh, Patsum and Parhai um, Ir Chweched um, or an Gwaith Cartre, but he didn't deal with Marine Patsum or Melin a glass. So the uh, same pattern continues for setting homework. It will be in their books or files marked yellow. We will set feedback. Obviously, it's more detailed than higher up the, the higher up the school we go. But once again, outlining what they've done well, but also setting clear targeted questions for what they must do in order to overcome that misunderstanding. Um, so the same pattern applies to the um, assessments, the formative um, and summative assessments that take place every half term. And as you're already familiar with, um, we then analyse that data every half term and we adapt our learning programmes to make sure that we are addressing and um, helping any children, who, students who are underachieving, addressing any misunderstandings in the curriculum and dealing with any classes that are underachieving. And finally, um, just to reassure you, the uh, um, So just to um, confirm for you, the same pattern of half term the dashboard reports will continue throughout the six month in order that you have a very clear overview of the progress that your son and your daughter is making over this time. Um, we think this is really important um, because, of course, as they move through the sixth form, increasingly they are thinking about university places, the grades that they will require to get onto their university courses, and our students look uh, in detail at these reports to see, am I on track or not to reach my destination? Um, thank you for your attention and listening. Um, I'd like you to hand over you now, hand over now to Mrs. Fiona Mosford Evans, who will talk about the stage five um, back Welsh baccalaureate qualification. Yeah, Mr. Parry. Good evening to you all. I'm just going to run through um, what the Key Stage 5 Welsh Baccalaureate course consists of. So, do we directly draw a bit with this with the plant to a discussion on Bruden Deidag and a studio and Bruden Deidag at Tyra Ve have a baccalaureate? Okay, right. So, and er darlun yma, dyn ni'n gallu gweld bod yr her sy'n dysgrif sgiliau yn gyfuniad o bedwar her gwahanol. Yn ogystal â hynny, iddyn nhw basio y bagaloriaeth, mae'r rhaid i'r disgyblion fod wedi pasio dwy lefel A yn ogystal ac cael ec yn tygau mathemateg a chymrani neu Saesneg. So, for the students to pass the Welsh Baccalaureate qualification, they have to pass the Skills Challenge Certificate, which consists of four challenges, which I'll speak to um, in more detail on the next slide. But they also have to pass two A-levels. In addition to that, they must have a C in their GCSE English or Welsh language and GCSE in their Maths or Numeracy qualification. The challenges that the students will be studying are the community challenge, which is 15% of the qualification, the global citizenship challenge, another 15%, 
and then 20% of the qualification will be the enterprise and employability challenge where they'll be doing some group work and then finally in year 13 they will be working independently with tutor support on their individual project. Felly, um, dros y dwy flynedd, mi fydd yn myfyrwyr yn astudio her y gymuned sydd yn bymtheg cant, her y dinasyddiaeth sydd yn bymtheg y cant, mae'n wedi dechrau ar hwn yn barod y tymor yma, a her mentor garwch sydd yn ugain y cant, lle fyddwn nhw'n gweithio mewn grwpiau, a wedyn astudio annibynnol wedyn yn blwyddyn tair ar ddeg i gwblhau y prosiect unigol sydd yn 50 y cant o'r gymwysdau. Yn blwyddyn deuddeg, mi fyddwn nhw yn cwblhau mentor y gymuned, a yn ogystal â hynny, me, um, her mentor garwch, lle fyddwn nhw'n gweithio mewn grŵp, a'r dinasyddiaeth bu deian. Mae hyn yn gyfuned, gyfuniad o 40 y cant. A wedyn yn blwyddyn tair ar ddeg, fyddwn nhw yn gorffen yr her mentor garwch, lle fyddwn nhw'n edrych i mewn i um, costau byw, um, a lle fyddwn nhw eisiau byw, a lle fyddwn nhw eisiau cael swydd yn y dyfodol, sydd yn um, effeithiol iawn ar, cyfer nhw, ar gyfer y, y, y byd mawr. So in year 12, they will study the community challenge and the enterprise and employability challenge, but also the global and citizenship challenge, which they've already started in uh, this half term. That is 40% of the qualification. Then in year 13, they, they will be looking at the cost of living, um, how much it will cost them one, cost them to live once they've gained their job after gaining their degree. You know, how much does it cost to buy a house? You know, the, how do you go through the process of buying a house or buying a car, uh, looking at things like national insurance and things like that. Things that they need really in order to be um, you know, a good citizen and knowing how to, how to be um, independent, you know, how to live independently. And then finally, in year 13, they'll be studying their individual project, um, which they'll have a tutor that they can check in with um, every, every week. But it is an individual project, which is similar to a small dissertation, um, a university dissertation. So they're getting a flavour of working individually on a substantial um, piece of work. And that is 60% of the qualification. These are the skills that they will be developing over the next two years. So what they're looking at, communicating skill, communication skills, their presentation, they'll be doing quite a few presentations in front of their teacher, um, some debating skills in the global citizenship, also planning their work and organising, making sure that their work is organised. They'll also be looking at digital literacy. Um, as things are going at the moment, digital literacy skills are really, really important for our students, um, you know, and, and for the future of them in the world of work. So we'll be concentrating on those, as well as numeracy and financial analysis and budgeting um, for themselves um, after they've left university. Project research, which is really, really useful skill that they will need in university or on an apprenticeship scheme, in addition to the critical thinking and problem solving skills. So these are skills that they've all developed from year seven in a sovereign hovering, but we're developing them further onto a different level, the advanced level now with the with the skills challenge certificate. But your skill yet be the discipline and that's lucky the cafetri cyflwyno <laughs> That's like your skill, Emma. Er, sydd yn fod yn blwyddyn saith, ond yn ein gwneud yn siŵr wedyn yn yr blwyddyn deuddeg at air ar ddeg, hefo'r bogloriaeth, bod nhw'n datblygu heun o'n at safon uwch. Rhyfedd a dadansoddiad ariannol a chyllideb hefyd sydd yn sgiliau da fyddwn nhw angen yn hwyrach ymlaen yn ei bywydau. 
hefyd fyddwn nhw'n edrych ar datblygu sgiliau ymchwilio project y bydd yn help mawr iddyn nhw pe byddwn nhw'n cyfreg prif ysgol a mi fyddwn nhw hefyd yn datrys problemau a meddwl yn feirniadol ac yn datblygu hynny. Sgiliau fyddwn nhw angen yn y dyfodol yn y byd gwaith neu yn y prif ysgol hefyd. So ble fydd y cymwyster yma mynd â nhw? Ok, ble fydd y cymwyster yma mynd â nhw? Felly mae bob un prifysgol yn y dyrna synedig yn cynnig yr bagloriaeth. Maen nhw yn ei ddynig o fel, um, fel gradd, um, so mae'r mae bagloriaeth yn, yn cyfradd at radd lefel A, ond mae o hefyd, hefo pwyntiau iwcas ar ei gyfer o hefyd, ydy bod prifysgolion yn gostwm un gradd mewn pwnc arall, os gwn yn y ddynig gradd uwch yn y fadaloriaeth. So, where will the, well, the um, Welsh Baccalaureate take our students? So, every university in the UK now accepts the Welsh Baccalaureate. There might be one or two courses that don't accept it within a university, but even the top, you know, the top ended courses such as your dentistry, medical, veterinary courses, they all accept the Welsh Baccalaureate. An advantage to our students in the school in Hyfryd, because they're studying the Welsh Baccalaureate, a lot of universities will accept a lower grade in another subject if the students have gained a higher grade in the Welsh Baccalaureate. And the benefit of it is that there is no exam at the end of this course. It's all coursework, all work that they do on their own, in at home and in the lessons as well. So they'll know before the uh, results day in August what they what grade they've actually got. Okay, so it's really, really beneficial um, for them. And then the last slide, which just mentions what some of the past students have said. Um, some students started the course in the beginning of year 12 and not been very positive of the course, but then by the time they've, get, they've got to the end of year 13, this is what they've said about the course. Um, you know, they've, it's developed them ready for university. You know, it's given them so much more confidence. Um, it's made them aware of what goes on around the world. You know, they've got additional skills that they can now use in university with regards to research research and the, um, the last one on, on the slide there you know that they're more organized and that's what they need uh, the skills that they need to be in university so beth my kin disgyblion yn ei ddweud am y cwrs mae rhai y disgyblion ar ddechrau blwydd yn deuddeg um, ddim yn rhy siŵr ar cwrs os, os, os ydy oedd yn nhw ond derbyn diwedd blwydd yn tair ar ddeg dyma'r negeseion rydyn ni'n gael gan y mymyrwyr yn ddeud pa mor um, pa mor uh, dda oedd y cwrs iddyn nhw bod oedd datblygu nhw gymaint um, a bod nhw rŵan yn barod ar gyfer cyrraedd um, y prifysgol neu prentisiau um, yn ogystal. Um, diolch am awr iawn am randa heno. Um, thank you for listening. I'm now going to push you on to Mrs Manon Wilkinson, the head of Sixth Form. When I bash o'ch i Mrs Manon Wilkinson pennaeth y chwechau. Iawn, dyma ni achrau socynnau iawn i chi at ei noson um, wybodaeth i'r ieni rhithiol blwydd yn deuddeg. Um, a very warm welcome to you all to our virtual information evening for all Year 12 um, parents. Um, it's a shame that I can't see you and meet you um, all in person, um, but I hope that you can hear me um, and um, see me um, in the bottom of your screen. Felly, chrau socynnau i chi gyd. Felly fel dych chi'n gwybod, Manon Wilkinson dyr enw a fi wedi penneth o chachau dyma'n ysgol bryn hyfryd. So as you all know, my name is Manon Wilkinson I'm, and I'm the head of sixth form here at ysgol bryn hyfryd. And now I'll just introduce you to my assistant head of sixth form, which is Miss Jones, to say a few words. Good evening, nos wetha. Um, Rian Jones ydw i fel y Manon Newydd um, y Glyn o'r penneth cynorthwyol i chweched o sbarth. But all you did not knock the man on and the head of the high, but I'm Henny on the Gale and Burwood, Calibut Lonnie, and when can it tie bow with it? Can you think a shock in the Burwood, Iragorian Popeth? When well, the Burwood gets on your own, he's the high bono, even if you get a guy academic, I have it, have it, a governor on the Gale. 
Mae'n bwysig hefyd yn cyfarth trebu gyson iawn gyda adre i wneud yn siŵr bod nhw'n ymwybodol neu chi yn ymwybodol o'r cynnydd sydd yn ddigwydd yn yr ysgol. Yn gynnar iawn yn eich taith yn eich chweched dosbarth hefyd, dan yw yn paratoi i'r myfyrwyr i bywyd prifysgol sy'n cynnwys ymychwil i prifysgolion, ICAS a hefyd cyllu myfyrwyr. Hi, I'm um, Rhian Jones, Assistant Head of Sixth Form. My role is to support the Head of Sixth Form, so to support Manon um, as Head of Sixth Form, ensuring that the pastoral needs of the students are met. Therefore, allowing our students to excel in everything that they do. I meet with our students regularly to ensure that they are kept up to date with the studies and also their pastoral needs. I communicate um, quite frequently with the parents with progress updates and also from an uh, early stage in their sixth form journey, we do start to prepare the students for universities or indeed life after a stop recovery. This does include um, research to universities, UCAS and student finance. Yeah, dear Rian, thank you Rian. Um, ble a allwch ddod o hyd i ni ta fel o tîm cynnogol um, o arwynwyr chweched? Where can you find us then as, you know, as a sixth form and assistant and a sixth form? We are located in um, the White Building by the Leisure Centre, which is called the Canolfan y Chweched. Um, you can also call us directly, either through a Scotland Hybrid website or you can email um, as well, and also the phone number on the slide there for you to see. Yeah. Now then, your son and daughter will be supported initially on a daily basis every registration period by their form teacher. If you can Bob in Achmibion, if Merched, um, due to our personal arbenical, at the Marester NOS, if our Hinobrid, due to our Adam Lund and Direk. So here are the list of teachers. Um, experienced members of staff who are fully aware of you know, the expectations and what needs to be done as part of the um, post-16 education here. Uh, our team in Arbenigol, my name is Bottol Iawn, and I'm the Arwain, and I'm the Gymnogi, and I'm the Merch, and I'm the Cymnod, and I'm the Ndeg, and I'm the Hester, and I'm the Hester, and I'm the Hester, and I'm the of those teachers. One of the main things that really does um, tend to provoke, I think, a few um, of these students in year 12 are this idea of independence. I'm part of the sixth form now, mum and dad, I can do what I want. I'm now independent. I'm a young adult um, and I've got free time on my timetable. And these are the things that you know we are faced with on a daily basis. Erbod an hyfryd o threswm y ddyn o ddimlo'n anibynnol, even though it's wonderful for them to feel this independence. And that is also important to us as a pastoral team in the sixth form to support that. It cannot be hynny. Um, it's also important for them to realise that the step from GCC to A level begins right from the start and they need to realise this huge step in their education career and attack it as soon as possible. So I'm going to put on a new bottle or any beneath me, I guess I will not, and have it in the shore, but no in a new bottle or come in very much in all the guy you level up. I can put a cigar with a bottle of whiskey and I'm sorry, even though they might have part time work. Um, the main of the thing we have is the ski. I could do a bit of a bit so here are a few things that I've um, experienced along the way of, especially with things like part-time work. Now then, also if you have a lot of work, you can see that you have a lot of work. So if your son daughter works possibly part-time, up to 10 hours a week, um, it's a good thing to have. And we encourage part-time work. So you can see that you have a lot of work. And also, the young men in the are there. If it goes beyond those 10 hours per week to say 15 hours, even per hour, then all students need to realise that this could affect a grade with their studies. They could drop a grade in mathematics or naigaliaith or whatever those subject might be. They could find themselves dropping from a C to a D grade. I think I'm going to see what normal is. I call it balance. Cohere. It's really important to have that. You know appropriate balance, although we promote part-time work, which is good for their independence, we also ask for them to think ahead of the hours that they might be working. 
hefyd wrth gwrs os ydyn nhw'n gweithio'n fwy ymhellach na 50 awr yr wythos if they work even further than 15 hours per week, then what I've seen in my experience as head of sixth form is then that they really struggle to contain and catch up with the work that they've got to do in three A levels plus the Welsh back, and then it becomes a struggle for them and they might even drop out of sixth form. I think my problem is that what we said, Hannah said, and Sonia da working part time is a good idea. On my height, but the novel is fine to already have the barquois and a and yellowy. Where she got it, driving lessons are also, you know, part of sixth form life, and they come through the door. Do you pass your test? I've passed my test, Miss. Um, am I of course, Gali Elon Gubar? Congratulate us on having the height of the Nogavia. I drive in the Indri Wars to reach your mouth for sure here than any. We do. Uh, facilitate driving lessons. However, we do ask the parents and supporters in making sure that they do organise these driving lessons when they are free only and that it doesn't affect them their lessons in school. I would moment with a help spawn with in a school summer school get there and dress in the middle hour and how I give them at this school get there. The expectations are high here in sixth form. Um, so the key in a the best with the online host all to do with how we want them. Um, to at that sixth form. Um, well, 3D Dishes, Macam, Hunt to Guy Level and in Endavour, as I've said before, the step up between DCC and A Level is huge, and that is where I ask a lot of the time for parental support. And if they've been going, um, you're not getting any, or her with Gunted Vith and I've on a solely. As soon as students start to realise that actually I do know what I'm talking about with the step up from DCC to A Level then they'll start to work and we don't want them to start working when it becomes too late. And we should know if you're from the moment and play of the Yeah, so, first and all that, but got us three well penneth blue then, you're hanging out sitting well there online, but they're well penneth blue then and have not said all that. I need three, for those of you who know me from possibly being ahead of year in key stage three or four, I'm an extremely competitive head of year. And when I flew in, because the WLT hunt, I'm a gas gunny vessel, but in the real blue, the energy sheep are made of lower E. Crescent Alta. So I'm extremely competitive, and I hate to think that any other year group beats our sixth form when it comes down to attendance. But they, in order to be gant to gant, the aim is, as always, 100%. Because my rest of the end, the statistics are very, very clear that if you miss out on any second of any lesson, then that will have a detrimental effect on your lessons and grades. But I'm pushing on in her with that personal data. Every student now in year 12 should have received a card which they can sign in and out with, which gives them then that element of being treated as all the students as well as So I'm going to call you three in a six-year bell. I do the only bank, but I'm going to then say the bell in V and Van Hen. I'm going to get it, of course, I can get it well done. I don't know whether you can see it, but their cards are exactly like that, and they use to sign in and sign out with it. Yeah, so it gives them that in, um, element again of independence. I'm on Pussy Bun on them that they are high, but for me, wedding and cook for Seman or our Bob, I've said. It's really important that they use these cards so that we're aware where they are, especially in their free time, um, um, just to keep an eye and to make sure that they're all safe and well. But the in precedent, but our case, the one thing that does stand out is that if you miss, um, or if your attendance is on 95%, or if personal um, demand now depends on can't, but then you go give the kids a day, they were not a school and a bleeding. That would equate to 10 days missed of school. I can never get any bail on our one in the days that we are living through at the moment. My personal debt and we see catenary oil in the days that we are living through, as I've said. Attendance is vitally important. On Busig, Nidrinig or Ann Gwine, from Heavy, the Neen Doy and Van Hen, Busig or Ann Roval, Vigilial, and that's only as important from a lesson and academic point of view. It's really also important when it comes to our pastoral care. But the question, Maurati, the big question, or uh, the one that I'm asked all the time how do I support my child? My child has joined the sixth form. How do I support him, her? I have my own question, Mauer, and the day. The man who I prefer the new at the middle and that no, and he did answer a moin, a seg, a sod, rebuncia, simul, a seg, and to the material they think he be made for him, and the secure my hand and help me and bow down at an age. Not trying to tell you what to do as parents, obviously, but these are little things that can be done um, to help support us in supporting your son and daughter. But Trevor and her other boy sick. 
um, routines are vitally important. Um, er bach a bonny wynebu hanner tymor wrth os i ffwrdd, wrth reswm yn yr ail wrth os yn ddilyn yr hanner tymor, mi fydd gwaith ar eu cyfer ar gyfer bob disgybl ar gwbl wrth os yma. Mae'n bwysig bod nhw'n dilyn y drefn arferol o'r fynd i'r afael ar gwaith. So, following the half term break, we will obviously have a fire break here lockdown week on the second month when we should be returning to school. And it's important that all the students there are engaging with the work on Google Classroom and getting used to having this different uh, methods of learning from home. We will have a banner at the airbus, and we will at Google Classroom. We will always be there on the other side of Google Classroom to help and support them. We help you, I have not know. Ond mae hefyd mae'r balans, mae'r cyd bwysedd yn bwysig yn dydy, mae bod yn iach yn bwysig, byn helpu, yfedig o'n y ddŵr, gwneud yma arfer corff, mynd allan y cael awyr iach. All these things are vitally important, drinking plenty of water, keeping healthy, keeping fit, going out for walks when we can um, are vitally important. Dyna ni hefyd yn hyrwyddo yn cyn dyddiau yr uh, Covid, before Covid times, we were promoting um, for our students to actually go to the gym during their free lessons because it's all part and pa parcel of mental health and well-being. Felly, mae'n bwysig hefyd gwneud unrhyw fath o chwaraeon ym arfer card i gadw'r meddwl yn iach. So it's important to do any physical activity in order to keep mind healthy as well. Creoli amser. Nifer y ddysgodion y number of our students work tirelessly three, four, five hours in an evening and that can become too much. Mae'n gallu bod yn ormod. Byd yn un awgrymu, ydy 20 munud ar bob pwnc, bob nos, ddim mwyn o tair awr ar y tro, no more than three hours, a mae'r haid cael egwyl yn gyson. So, having breaks regularly are also vitally important, not doing a stint of you know, 10 hours without a break, it's not going to be um, worthwhile for them. But then you know, with that, at all, if you some a quite at all school, the work after school is obviously promoted. However, to take regular breaks and to think 20 minutes at a time. Um, I have a busy kind of a theater line, that's why it's also important to have something that we all look forward to. I can do the amount of some money in another in these times. It is very important, especially in Rubeth, as an in AD, at home line, my busy. Um, ar dal y stydio, dwi wedi deud hon ar hyd y blynyddoedd yn y rôl mae. I've said this line several times um, about my own kids, that they say, I'm off to my bedroom, I'm going to do my homework, and I think naively as a parent, oh, well done, I'm being wonderful. However, reality is completely different. They haven't gone upstairs to do their homework, they've gone upstairs to watch whatever, to play a game or to be on their phone with their friends. But they might be sick when they are not but not all. It's important that they have their own designated area to possibly be able to function, do their work without having all those um, distractions such as gadgets and also social media. Yeah? Right. Felly, parhaad os ydy gymnogi plant, just another slide to say things that will be coming your way. Um, fel iddo, Mr Parry, as Mr Parry mentioned, you will have to only receive reports, um, a dashboard report for your son daughter, and this will happen now following the half-term break. Mae nhw hefyd wrth reswm yn dod adref a llyfrau a ffolderu'n gyson. They also come home with books and folders. Have a look at their work, check to see whether they're tidy, um, have they got little file dividers? Can they know that they you were handy there and a full there yma? Um, all these things then will help them to keep themselves organised. The thing you need help you get to him in and the remedies of course. Um, even now, the third and last one, and the third and the third, the letters will come out obviously to explain the how to reports, and then you will see from those reports what we need to do then to target anything if at all. Felly, mi fydd y gwaith yn cychwyn wedyn efo'r monitro a'r parhau i gynnal a chefnogi. Work that will start after the half term. Again, continue with tutors, Miss Jones here, myself, supporting your son daughter to target possible things that weren't in place this half term for them in any subject, support and guide them through things like that. Have you done away? Do we go to the internet? We've got all on the internet. There are things there that can also help and support from home. But the Quebec WJC, the rest of the board at Holly, 
examination board, mae gan fy nhw um, gyn bapurau ddeg o pas papers enghreifftiau o atebion um, perthnasol. Mae'n gwestiwn sy'n cael eu rannu'n yr ysgol, ond hefyd mae o'n werth i chi fel rhieni i gwybod amdanyn nhw. Of course, these pas papers and exemplar of answers are shared here in school. However, it's also very valuable for parents to know that this is available um, for students to look at at home and also parents. UCAS, I don't know whether you've heard of UCAS before, but that is the site that takes your son and daughter on to the next step in their educational career, which is the application for university. This process will start at the end of year 12, going into year 13, um, and year 13s are currently very busy on their personal statements and putting things together for those applications. But the ICAS and Savile, so they have even cunning lots of about the three it's also a site that does give parents a lot of information about universities and about the process as well. UK CAT and there's also a BMAT. These are admission tests. My high previous school on Robin and Banano. My UK CAT are a an admissions test that go over and scope the answers of the professional yechi. The UK CAT is based towards any student wanting to become part of the medical or the health profession. There's also the BMAT when we look at Cambridge um, as well. Some um, universities accept UK CAT on all, but it's well worth uh, if your son daughter is interested in becoming an early applicant for UCAS, uh, which would be October of next year, that it's worth just knowing a few things about the UK CAT and admissions test and the whole. Hope then is also a website where you could find information, not get there, and bunker Gwahanol information and notes about different um, subjects. I can with the first have a look at our web and the rest of also keep an eye on our school website um then again post the up there at um going ahead we post things up on there. Just even the north of the back of the cast, um the other kaya the very new institution we now need professional medical and the TVF um you'll be the get the line perianic with uh um niche but I'm with not all but the other time is that for the next step. So any of your sons, daughters who are keen to become doctors, uh, engineers, uh, veterinary, and what else have I forgotten? Can't think. Um, then the deadline would be October 15th. However, for all other applicants, then the deadline would be January the 15th, um, going into year 13 then. So important key dates I've mentioned um, following the half term, you will receive a dashboard report. Your son and daughter will bring these home. They won't be posted home as such. They will be given to them. Just check in the bottom of their bags. We've seen this happen time and time again. And there they are there. But they just query off one of them and will load the bag and roll that. But the dashboard reports are all at Hannah's about. No, sorry, any of us here and me, Sean, our video with an impossible dress on. So parents evening four year 12 will be held in January of 2021. On Please don't wait until parents evening ask her any questions. We're always on the other side of the phone or on an email. Just give us a call or an email if you're worried or concerned about anything. Dachi Peter Garros and Nosoriani. Have a funny girl in Rubri. I just about to the phone there, Vasya. Um, but can I tell you that when you go into the home, to be smart, the heavy, so the examination period will happen between May and June. And of course, Mark will see me about the part high when the heavy lessons will continue. Following that, where Year Twelves will be then introduced to Year Thirteen of the criteria and the syllabuses awaiting them for their final year as a bit of it. Yeah, and we want to be passionate, Ruan, or real life in Mr. Parry. I think I'm now passing control back to Mr. Parry. You have to give them Randa. That's what I think. Thank you. Right. The other man. Um, sorry, I'm a, I'm a soon now. The other man. Um, Right. Um, then you wait there in um, Louis or Christian and Barrett. We've already um, received and responded to many questions on the chat line. Um, so if anybody has any uh, additional questions that they would like to ask, um, could you please um, put your hand up? Um, and you can do that by um, just clicking on the hand icon 
on the screen or alternatively type it into the, um, the chat box. Um, now just bear with me a moment, we just have a slight